Yes, yes, Blade fam, what is good? Welcome to episode number 11 of Blading with Bill. So someone was actually not too pleased the fact that I stopped moving my hands when saying Blading with Bill. Um, basically, I got to episode number 10 and I didn't really know how to like denote the number with my hands. So we're bringing it back. <laughs> I want to start uh, this episode by saying a huge, huge thank you to everyone that's already joined my Patreon. Um, I set it up just just in case anybody wanted to support me. And I think there's already about 10 people on there. Uh, and that kind of blew me away. I really, really wasn't expecting that. The fact that you guys are enjoying the content that much that you're willing to support me with a little donation each month is just, yeah, I can't really put into words how much it means. It is so incredible of you lot. So big up yourselves. I cannot express how much I appreciate you. It honestly means the world. So yeah, massive, massive thank you. If anyone else would like to support me, the Patreon link is down below. I've also put my PayPal there in case you just want to give me a quick little one-off donation, which a few of you have. Again, thank you so, so much. The Patreon is going to have a lot of exclusive content. You're going to have early access to all my YouTube vlog series, Blading with Bill. There's going to be loads of unreleased edits and unseen clips on there. I'm also going to do like some product reviews, some skate setups, and just a load of other stuff that you won't really see anywhere else. So yeah. If you're interested in any of that and want to support me and keep me going with the stuff that I'm doing, you know where the link is. So yeah, really, really blown away by that support. So again, <laughs> keep saying it, but thank you guys so, so much. It is just blowing me away. So episode 11, we have a fun little challenge today. This one's actually been on the list since the start. So I'm pretty excited to get this one done. We're going to get my slider bar out, which I probably haven't used since... Probably around lockdown. Now, this thing kind of saved our asses during lockdown. We couldn't skate an awful lot. Um, we weren't really meant to meet up in groups and like everything was a bit chaotic, but we just, we had a load of sessions on the slider bar in a car park out the way of everyone. And we had so much fun on it. Um, I learned so many tricks on it. Like it was so good just for practicing stuff, trying switch ups and weird tricks that you've never done. Like it. To me, it was just the perfect little obstacle just to, to go through the motions on and practice. So we're getting that bad boy out today and we're going to try and do 50 switch ups, switch and natural. So total of 100 tricks, 50 switch ups on one foot, then the same 50 switch ups, but on the other foot. Um, I don't really know how this is going to go. It's kind of a bit like the 100 trick challenge that we did in the skate park. But obviously this is going to be more difficult because every trick I do natural, I've got to do switch. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, um, let's just see how it goes. I've written a list. There is 50 switch ups on there. A lot of them I've never done before. I've never even thought about doing, but I've spent the last week or so just like slowly adding to the list when something comes in my head. I spent a bit of time this morning just lying in bed with my cat, like thinking of some ones to put on the list to make up to 50. And there's quite a few on there that I don't even think I'm going to be able to do. I'm going to be honest, but I put them on there because I really want to sort of push it and see what I can get done. Um, if I can't do certain ones on there, I'm going to have to wing it and come up with something when I'm out. That's not really a problem, but I'll be honest. I feel like I've exhausted pretty much everything that I think I can do. Hence why there's tricks on there that I don't think I can do. Um, and the majority of them are pretty damn hard. Uh, for me anyway, like I've probably got about 10 at the start, which are fairly basic, like a sole to top sole, acid to top acid. There's a couple that are fairly easy and basic, but once they're out of the way, it's like, it's going to be a slog. So um, just as like a rough idea for what you've got to expect, I've got like kind grind, 360 kind grind both ways. And then like alley top acid to top acid both ways. Um, it's kind of hard to think off the top of my head what's on the list because there's so many. But yeah, like there's quite a few on there that are going to be pretty damn hard. So we'll see how it goes. The slider bar is not very big. It's like the perfect length. It's probably like yay high. Obviously, I'll let you guys have a look at it when it's all set up. But um, yeah, who knows how it's going to go. So it was really sunny this morning. I've been in the garden just changing the brackets on the P-Rail because they were a bit beaten. And it's kind of clouding over a bit. I was really hoping to do this one outside and enjoy a bit of sunshine today, but I don't want to like get into it, get it set up and then it rain. So I'm basically going to go straight to the car park, um, which is kind of a shame because it's kind of 50-50 weather it's going to rain. I might waste a day out in the sun, 
But like I said, I don't want to get into it in that zone and like then get lost. What tricks I've done, what I haven't done, I have to take it down again, take my skates off and go somewhere else. So yeah, just going to go straight to the car park. Um, I'm all but ready. I just need to load the van up, done all my morning routine, had breakfast, all that jazz. I've actually got a really fresh brand new skate set up that I set up last night and they're looking incredible. Um, there's a little rundown video of me setting that up on my Patreon. Again, if you're into that sort of stuff, head over there and have a little look. Um, so yeah, there's a detailed breakdown of all the stuff that I've put on there, me putting them together, what I sort of do to make them unique to me, how I sort of clean them and prep them and all that stuff. Um, I'm not going to use them today just because I want a fighting chance of getting these switch ups done. I don't kind of want like a new frame to kind of get used to. Like I'm not too bad with a fresh frame set up, but I want everything in my favour today to try and get this done. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I will still show you a little glimpse of my fresh setup because they're looking so good. Um, but yeah, no more talking. We're going to get straight to it. I'll see you guys in the, in the van. We're going to head down to the car park, which is only sort of 10 minutes from my house. Get in there, get warmed up. And what is kind of funny, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know I find a switch Mizzou really damn hard. And the first trick today is going to be Mizu to sweat stance. Well, it's Mizu to switch sweat stance, and then it's switch Mizu to natural sweat stance, just to get things going, so I can get that one out of the way. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the car park or in the van. All right, we're in the van. We're just heading down towards the car park, and I don't know if you guys can hear, it's raining. It's raining pretty bad. It's all changed since this morning. So I'm glad I made this decision to go to the car park. Like I said earlier, it would have really sucked to have got stuck into the challenge and then had to move. So yeah, a little bit gutted because I wanted some sunshine today, but it can't be helped. Now I've got all next week off. I've got seven days in a row coming up to do nothing but skate. I really, really want to get down to Core Hall and get that DIY trash style day out done. One of those days has got to be dry. I really want to make that one. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And I just want to get out and enjoy a bit of the weather for once, but it can't be helped. We're about five minutes away from the car park, so I'll see you in there. We'll get the rail set up and make a start on this Switch Mizzou. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> This is home for the day, not too exciting. Pretty damn miserable out there. So yeah, there's the new brackets on the P-rail. It just slots through. There's two holes drilled in the end of the wood. So yeah, just gonna put it all together. I'll let you guys have a quick look at it. And the floor is not that good here. Um, there was a spot that I used to use it over there, but um, it's full of cars. So I'll just have to make do. Um, kind of rough but at least it's dry and somewhere that we can start the challenge so yeah just going to chuck the p-rail together we're all set up the p-rail is in place on the floor and bolted together got the skates on it's actually just rained so hard it actually came in the side of the car park a little bit so now even this bit of floor is a little bit slippery but just gonna have to make do sorry about the noise i've got no idea what that is i'm just going to show you guys the p-rail quickly let you have a little look at what we're dealing with today like i said it's not very big but it's super fun it's good enough length for one switch up, which is good news for us today. Uh, it slides amazingly well. It's a really solid, thick bit of PVC pipe. Uh, I actually just found this up at Plymouth University. So I yunked it, put it in the car, and made this little bad boy. So yeah, just gonna do a few warm up tricks, and then we'll start with the Mizzou to switch sweaty, and then the switch Mizzou to natural sweaty, my absolute enemy. So pretty excited to get into this one got to make it happen and get to 50. Let's get into it.
All right, quick update. We got through a lot of the basic ones fairly quickly. I started sweating very soon into the session. I don't think that's from exercise. I think it's from fear from the Swiss Mizzou. I got that done pretty quick. Wasn't too bad and didn't feel too alien. I think I just need to keep doing them. I mean, again, it's really daft that the Switch Mizzou is that difficult for me, but a lot of you seem to agree with that. So that's kind of nice to know. Uh, the rail's feeling pretty quick and pretty solid, which is amazing considering it's been getting wet in my garden for the last couple of years. And we are now at the point where we're gonna do our first Switch H-block grind. So we're going for Unity to Topsoil, then Switch Unity to Topsoil. So no messing about, just gonna put you guys back on the floor and get to it. Okay, another little update, all is going well. Um, I didn't really put these in like difficulty order. I understand that a lot of the fairly easy ones are at the start, but like the back unity to kind grind, that one was super difficult. Like one way it switched kind grind and the other way it switched unity. So it's a really weird one, but that one took a minute. Um, that one that I just did, the Royale to Alley-Oop Top Soul, I really, really suck at switch Royales. So after getting the Switch Royale step back acid, I thought I'm just gonna chuck a little bonus one in and I got the Switch Royale to Switch Alley Topsoil, which felt pretty good. It didn't feel that alien. So that's one really good thing about doing these challenges. You sort of unlock stuff that you might've had all this time. And obviously it's a really good way to learn, get muscle memory and just build up your vocab and work on your Switch game. So I'm gonna have a little water break and eat some dried mango and then pop you guys back on the floor things are going to start heating up a little bit so stay tuned see what else we can get and by the way we're on 14. things are really starting to get pretty damn difficult now that topsoil to alley topsoil the hard way took a long long time and what i've realized is i've never done that trick regardless switch or natural um the i mean they both kind of feel switched because i've never done it but one of them wasn't as clean as the other uh i honestly couldn't even tell you which one was switched because they were both as difficult as each other pretty damn stoked to get that one also the back unity 270 to kg that one was surprisingly difficult um everyone's got their little areas of what they find tricky though i suppose so for me like one of the back unities is switch but the coin grind is natural and then the other way around so yeah again it's just one of those things I have another little water break and they're only going to keep getting harder so i ain't got any time to waste really but yeah having fun enjoying it and i also forgot how scary this thing kind of is because it's so close to the ground and so unbelievably quick. Like, yeah, it just feels kind of dangerous, but I'm still enjoying it. It's good practice. I'll get back to it after a bit of water.
This is really damn difficult. I'm knackered, absolutely knackered. It's a beautiful evening out there. The sun is shining. The temptation just to go and enjoy the sun is up here, but I'm sticking to it. I'm on 34, which is good going. Um, I feel like the tiredness could get the better of me because all the ones that are left are, they again, they just get harder. So I'm going to be tactical now. I'm going to go from easiest to hardest. They're all pretty hard now, but you know what I mean? I'm gonna go for the easier ones and then leave the real difficult ones to the end. I tried the KG, 360 KG a couple of times. Um, I was struggling to do it naturally. I locked a few, but didn't quite get it. And I could just tell that that one was gonna take ages. Um, I have done that one before, so I know I can do it both ways, but um, I'm out of practice on this thing. But yeah, another little water break. Try and get those last 16. I mean, if it comes to it, I guess I could try and think of a few more simple ones so I don't have to do the really, really difficult ones. But the whole point was to push it and try and get the really, really hard ones. So just going to keep going. The sun looks like it's starting to go down, to be fair. It's sort of, I don't know, nine o'clock in the sky sort of thing. But yeah, all good. Still enjoying it. Really good practice session. Quick drink. Chuck you guys back on the floor. Try and get these last 16. Let's do it. Oh, mama. I've been going a long old time. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty much at my point of like not being able to go any longer. I'm totally gassed. Um, I've got 13 more to do. Uh, some of them are pretty damn hard. Most of them are pretty damn hard. I don't think I've got it in me to do a lot of them. I'm gonna try a couple, but not waste too much time. It's like quarter past six now, nearly dark. So I'm gonna quick fire, make some up, try and get a few more. I might do a few double switch ups just to jazz things up a bit. But damn, it's been a serious struggle. I thought I was further on than 37 uh, but I'm not <laughs> so I've got to deal with that is what it is um, I will run through all the tricks at the end that I haven't done that were on the list um, one of the things that's quite frustrating is I've done I think I've done all the ones that are on the list so in a way it's good because there's a lot that I've never done before that I've done today but then I should be able to do those other ones if I've done them before but energy levels I don't want to hurt myself I don't want to be out too late and I want to skate tomorrow as well. So yeah, I'm just trying to do it fairly sensibly. And yeah, one last push, quick fire, try and get 13 more switch ups, get to 50, let's finish it off. Yeah, buddy! Woohoo! 
Oh my God. I'm so relieved that that is done. Jesus Christ. So when I started struggling, I realized like, well, I thought back to how difficult the 100 trick challenge was. That one took it out of me. That one seriously tested me. This one's been harder because a lot of these switch tricks take so many goes, like so, so many goes. Whereas in the skate park, I just had to do 100 tricks. So I could pick like fairly easy ones. But even with this at the end, if I'm picking an easy trick, I've still got to do it switch. Like one part of that is going to feel weird. So this one's been the ultimate test. Like the 100 trick challenge in the skate park was difficult. But today doing 100 tricks that are both switch and natural has been ridiculous. Um, in a way, I'm gutted that I didn't go through the whole list, but at the same time, I think it was unrealistic to get all of them done. Um, and then it depends how you look at it. I could have gone for all the hard ones first, got them out of the way and then gone on to the easy ones, but then they would have taken so long, I'd probably be here even later and I'd just be more tired. So I think I did it, did it the right way around. I'm still absolutely buzzing that I got to 50. I've still done some really hard tricks for me today, some really hard switch and natural ones. I've done a lot of tricks I've never done before, let alone doing them switch. So super happy with that. But yeah, I'm done. I'm absolutely done. So I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm grubby, I'm smelly, it's dark, I'm hungry. I've got a tiny bit of water left. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go home, sort myself out, and then we'll have a catch up, talk about the day, talk about which ones I really struggled with, which ones I found easy, which ones I made up and which ones that I've missed. The ones on the list that I didn't get done. Maybe I'll do like a little extra bonus at some point and get those ones done just for myself. And I think I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty sure all the ones that I've left out today, I've already done. Um, but I know they're hard. So yeah, I'm probably chatting absolute rubbish now. Like getting those last like 10 or 11 done, whatever it was, I was literally just stood there staring at the slider bar like without my brain even thinking like i was just not even here like and then trying to think of like the last tricks to get done was almost impossible like my brain just went but yeah stoked to get it done i'll catch up with you guys when i'm home i'm feeling a bit more with it yo yo so i am back home i'm showered i'm fed and i'm feeling a lot better I still feel absolutely knackered, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot better than I did when I was in that dingy car park. So I worked it out. I was there for a total of seven hours today and I pretty much didn't stop. I had a few little water breaks and ate a little bit of mango and that was about as far as it went. So yeah, that was today. Pretty crazy, pretty long session, but I learned absolutely loads and had a load of fun and got the challenge done, which is what really counts. So I'm just going to go through the list let you guys know what I found really easy, what I found really difficult. Some of them were surprisingly easy, like some I thought were gonna be really tricky and actually came really quickly. And then I'm also gonna go through the ones that I didn't get done. So I'm gonna start by quickly touching on the switch Mizzou to sweat stance. Again, I find that so horrible, but I got that one done fairly easily. It might even seem silly that I'm mentioning it, but a lot of you do seem to understand that switch Mizzou's are gross. So yeah, pretty happy that one came quickly. Now, I also spoke about the Royale Alley topsole feeling very, very alien. Royale, switch rails to me are horrible. I don't do any H-block grinds in that direction. Um, I back Nugan, back Royale, backside, I do everything the same way. I know a lot of you don't change the foot position, but change the direction. I don't do that, so switch rails feel very weird to me. You also saw later on in the video, I go from a top acid and pivot all the way around to an alley top sole. I actually find that easier switch than out of the switch rail. That may sound really strange, but when I'm in that top acid, my feet are a lot more planted and I feel more comfortable to pivot than to the alley top sole. So yeah, the Royale feels weird, but the harder trick is strangely easier. So that's just how it is. Um, the top sole to alley top sole, the difficult way, I was stoked to get that. I've never done that natural. So to get it switch as well was, yeah, I was really, really pleased with that. And they both look fairly clean. I did mention that one of them, I didn't land quite as well, but I'm still happy with that. Definitely want to work on that a bit and maybe take it to the street, find it, do it on like quite a small street rail or something, maybe film it for a section. But um, yeah, that's definitely a difficult one to do switch. So I was really happy with that. Um, 
what else have we got on here that I want to talk about? Okay, the true Mizzou, and then switch round to Soul. Um, a lot of these tricks in the video, I thought I'd get the switch one out of the way first. Sometimes it seems like a good idea. So I did the switch one maybe third or fourth go. And then the natural one, I used to do this switch up a lot as well. The natural true Mizzou to Soul took, I don't know, nearly 30 or 40 goes. And it literally got to a point in my head and I'm like, wait, which one is switch? But genuinely, the natural one was really, really difficult. Um, and now you might say that, okay, well, that's your switch then. But it's natural true Mizzou, it's natural soul, and it's natural spin. Um, and that one got me quite frustrated. So a bit of a weird one there, but um, it's just how it goes sometimes. And I also wanted to mention, like, we're obviously all a lot more comfortable on our natural tricks. So I kind of thought today, maybe you don't put as much effort into the natural ones. With the switch ones, you're really thinking about it. You're really focusing on your foot position and how you're going to do it and how you're going to move your body. So I think because of that, a lot of the switch ones came quicker than the natural. I think sometimes you'll be a bit lazy on the, the natural ones because you know you can do it. So you don't put as much thought or effort into like the body movement or where you're actually locking your feet. So I kind of realized that today. So I've learned a lot of tricks today, but also I've learned a lot of how to use my head when doing these switch and natural tricks. Um, because a lot of the switch ones came so much quicker and they felt more difficult, but they just came quicker. So I definitely think that's worth thinking about and worth mentioning. Um, and basically that's everything I wanted to touch on with the tricks that I landed. Now I'm gonna go through all the ones that were on the list that I didn't get done. And the funny thing is, I did mention earlier in the video, I've actually landed all of these before switching natural on the P-Rail. Um, I just got to a point where I was really, really tired and I knew that a lot of these would take a long time. It was getting dark, I was really hungry and my head just wasn't there, like my brain wasn't functioning how it should. So I'm just gonna quickly run through what we didn't do. Obviously we did other tricks to make up for those 50. Um, so first one on the list would be a, uh, what have we got? Half cab top sole to true pawn. Now I did a half cab sole to true pawn, so it's not very different but it was just another one on the list I wanted to do. Um, half cab top acid to true Mizzou. Again, another one that I've done, not too difficult, but I thought it might have taken a bit of time. Then I have top sole, 360 sole. I suck at this trick natural. Um, doing it switch doesn't feel that different because I'm just not very good at it either way, but that one was on there. Um, alley -oop top sole pivot to acid. Obviously I did alley -oop top sole to top sole. Um, that's another one that I really, really struggle with. I absolutely suck at alley-oop top soles, so I thought I'd push that one out of the way. Um, half cab top acid to true pawn, very similar to the half cab top acid true KG, but um, again, just find that one difficult so I didn't go for it. Um, I also wanted to do sole to top sole, 360 sole, little double switch up, again, one that I've done before, but would have taken me a, a while, so left that one out. Um, Damn, the KG360 KG. This is one that I really, really wanted to do today. Again, I've done this one before. I did try it a few times. The natural one was feeling quite difficult and I just knew it was really gonna take it out of me. So shame not to get that one. Um, true stop, true salt, pivot to acid. Another one that I find kind of difficult. Um, the, the switch true spins on that thing when you miss you can you can wipe out quite hard um so for that reason i i left that one out uh true acid to kind grind same sort of thing true pawn to alley top sole same sort of thing alley top acid to top acid sorry the cat is wobbling the camera <laughs> um again i find a switch alley top acid really really alien so left that one out uh 270 south pivot to sole this one I don't find particularly difficult, but um, the rail is so quick. Sometimes when I don't get low enough on the savannas, my feet will be quite upright and I wipe out. Um, so again, I just didn't want the injury that late into the session. You okay there, bud? <laughs> Trying to be YouTube famous, bless him. Uh, what else have we got? Misfit to Ali Mistrail. That one's not too difficult. I'll be honest, it kind of just fizzled down the list. Kind of forgot about it and i'd already got to 50. Uh, and that's it 
that's all the ones we missed out. So there's about 10 there, which are all pretty damn difficult. Um, and like I said, I just got to a point where I was absolutely exhausted. My brain wasn't working properly. Uh, I still don't think it is, but I'll sleep, I'll rest, and everything will feel better tomorrow, hopefully. Also got this weird pain in my hip. Not sure why that's happened, but I'm going to get the massage, going out and put some ice on it and stuff like that. But yeah, we got there. We did 50 switch and natural switch ups. Pretty chuffed with it. It's been an exhausting but super fun day. Max wants to get in on the action again. So yeah, I'm signing out there. Don't forget, the Patreon link is below if you'd like to support me. Loads of fun stuff dropping on there. There's a link to my PayPal. Uh, just if you want to give me a little one-off donation. Thank you to everyone that's done that already. Uh, Insta links below. Like the video. Subscribe. Share the video. Leave a comment. Let me know your feedback. I'm signing out there. That was episode 11. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.